Jumbo, my name is Stephanie, a drug from Kenya. So science shows that um, we are the first generation to know we are destroying this planet and might be the last ones to do anything about it. And what puzzles me as a scientist is, how is it that the most intelligent species is destroying its own home, which is us? Because we can see coral reefs bleaching, we can see Antarctica melting, we can see thousands of species on the brink of extinction, and these are just a few examples. And what I have realized is that we tend to put climate change outside our experience range. I mean, we put it in a bubble. So this is us, and this is climate change, its impacts, its effects. And what this does is we feel that it does not affect our everyday, today life. And what does this do? We become more reactive in, instead of proactive in trying to tackle climate change. And climate, it, there is a big movement of uniting behind science to tackle climate change, and science is being used as a tool. And this is not to say that climate scientists are the only group trying to tackle this problem. We can see there are eco-activists, policy makers, communities suffering, sharing their stories, public and businesses. However, all these amazing groups work independently and do their work in singly. And uh, the climate change series now comes in and uses a living systems approach. Living system understands three things. First of all, that things change and evolve over time, that different groups, that there will always be different groups, but they correlate. And most importantly, working collectively reaps better benefits than working singly. And the Climate Change Series creates a platform for all these groups to exchange ideas, data, research, expertise, even doubts, and come up with solutions to find a balance between development and conservation, and ones that are fair and sustainable. And we do this using community and school outreach programs, especially in remote areas, as in Africa we have the digital divide issue. And we do events, and we recently joined the virtual space using a fresh YouTube channel, and we have a blog, blog post. And what we see is that, especially in the pastoral communities, that the, it's the traditional system of the government telling the people what the solutions are have changed. It's the people now directing what they want to see and which kind of solutions and approach we should use. We started in June 2019 with 600 students, and now we have more schools interested in the program. We also working with corporates and companies to embrace environmental corporate social responsibility programs. And we are currently working on a stop animation that uh, teaches and talks on ocean and climate change. And this is done by a local studio. As I come to an end of this presentation, the lessons I've learned is that people are self-driven by self-interest. If you are to ever make climate change real, it has to start with how does it affect you? And the only way to know what people need is to listen to them. And you'll be surprised that with the solutions in just that conversation. Also, inclusion of marginalized and disadvantaged people is key. We need to involve indigenous people, we need to involve people with disability, people in the remote <coughs> areas. The most effective communication is simple, relatable, and evidence-based. We love proverbs in this group, and I'm going to end with an African proverb. Knowledge is like a baobab tree. No one man can hold it. The picture above is a baobab tree. It takes years to grow, and the trunk is so wide and tall. And knowledge is like that. It's complex, it's deep, it's diverse. And we need all people, the diverse, the better, to harness this knowledge, understand it, implement it, and even record it to come and see the sustainable solutions of tackling climate change. And I'm going to end, <laughs> just let me find my pin, by saying it's that simple with all of us in the group going, trying in your various ways to see how we are going to bust
this bubble of climate change is not real. Thank you.